Welcome to the Falkhorn Station podcast, where I tell stories that transport you to the land of Almanati and its mythical island of Falkhorn Station. These stories are an introduction to this world and gently told to soothe your nervous system and to help you relax. Over this first season, we will explore some of its magical secret spots that will open up a place that you can always call upon for a moment of calm. On today's story, we will continue exploring the beach on Falcon Station Island, where you will discover a secret observation room. You will spend time watching the fish and the starfish in this really special underwater room with a cozy couch where you will fall asleep. These stories are designed to relax your nervous system, so it is not advised to listen to them when you are driving. Instead, I invite you to get comfortable sitting in a chair or laying down. Are you cozy somewhere? Place one hand on your heart and one on your belly as I guide you in some breathing exercises. Let's take three breaths together to start our settling process. Are you ready to begin? Let your body get settled in your spot and make sure that you are comfortable. Let's take a settling breath in through the nose and gently release out through the mouth. And again, taking a deep breath in through the nose and very slowly and gently release it out through the mouth. And again, taking a deep breath in through the nose and very slowly and gently release it out through the mouth. By now, you should be able to feel through your hands that your heartbeat and breathing has slowed down. If your hands feel comfortable where they are, just leave them there for this story or now would be a good time to resettle them to another cozy spot. I now invite you to pay some attention to your jaw. The jaw tends to hold a great amount of stress and tension. Consider opening your mouth just a little and relax your jaw. Just relax. Let it release that tension. Let it all go. And now, turning your attention to your neck. Just send a wave of relaxation from the top of your head down through all the muscles of your face and into your neck releasing those muscles. That's right. And now, turning your attention on the muscles from the base of your skull down into the neck and around the front to your throat. So much tension is stored here. 
just imagine it releasing by sending a wave of deep relaxation over the top of your head, down into your neck, and into your shoulders and release those muscles holding up your head. All of that tension is melting away and leaving your body to rest. And again, sending a wave of relaxation from your head all the way down your body to the tip of your toes. And relax now. Your muscles are melting into the surface behind you. And all the stress from the day is letting you go. You are so relaxed and peaceful now. Let's take a deep breath in through the nose and very slowly release through the mouth. Good. Now that we have relaxed your body, let us begin our story so that you can soothe your busy mind and calm your nervous system. In our last story, you had explored the beach at the furthest point of Falkhorn Station Island. You had walked in the sand, explored the rock pools filled with starfish, wandered along the beach finding shells, and had a glorious nap in the Falcon Station sailboat called Falcon Dreams. Today we are going to continue with our beach exploration. You are sitting on the end of the wooden boat dock in the late afternoon sun. The colours are starting to shift from blues to pinks. The air is calm and smells of a concoction of flowers. Your legs are dangling from the dock and you are enjoying the view from the island as it slowly floats on the ocean. In the very far distance, you can see the city skyline of Almanati, and on the opposite side, you are starting to see a dot of land coming into view on the horizon. You have no idea what this land could be. You have peace with the rhythm of the days on Falkhorn Station Island and that you have no control over when you will return to land. At some point, when the time is just right, you know that the island will return you home. The island is trying to tell you something, and you have not quite received the messages yet. You are enjoying the break, discovering how to relax again, and the unfolding days of exploration. You decide to keep exploring the edges of the beach that you have not yet walked upon. You stand up, and feeling the wooden boardwalk dock beneath your feet, you walk back to the warm, sandy beach. Your feet sink into the sand, and the warmth travels up into the muscles of your legs, and it feels wonderfully relaxing. You stroll along the beach, stopping to pick up the occasional shell or special rock. You hold the large shells up to your ear to hear the ocean, and remember the first time that you did that as a child and how magical it was to listen to. You wonder about the first human that held a shell up to their ear. What made them do that? And how did they feel 
listening to the ocean sound emerge from that shell. These are the fun things to turn around in your brain as you walk along. Feet sinking into the sand, your hat shielding the low setting sun from your eyes. You can hear the birds flying over to settle in for their nighttime spots in the forest or on the rocks ahead. You see a gathering of birds on top of a rock stack at the end of the beach. They are preening their feathers and chattering away together. You wonder, what are they saying? As you get closer, you see that the rocks are forming a long stretch that goes up to the top of the beach. You follow the edges of the rocks away from the ocean. It's a large black granite rock with silver veins running through it in all kinds of patterns. As you get further away from the ocean, the rock starts to form an archway. And there, hidden between two rocks, you find a blue metal door with a rounded top and a large, rusty door handle. There is a rusty metal starfish on the doorway and you run your hands over feeling its bumps. The door is big enough for just one person. You push on it and it opens just an inch. You push harder and it opens all the way to reveal the top of a metal staircase. The walls of the staircase have the same candelabra lights from the station house and they cast a soothing flicker on the walls. You feel instantly comfortable and safe here, and very curious as to what is at the end of this staircase. There are soft slippers at the first step, and you slip them on your feet. They are very cosy, and warm, and your feet delight in them. You start slowly walking down the stairs. Lining the walls are paintings of starfish with written descriptions in calligraphy under them. Each one states a fact about the starfish of Foghorn Station Island. Painting number one has multiple starfish painting in different colours of blues, purple, orange and green. Under it, it says, Fact number one. The starfish have an ability to change colour. The observer believes this is a form of communication between families. The colour changing patterns can result in a starfish being able to change colour multiple times an hour. You walk down three more steps, slowly, feeling the cosy slippers support your feet and you reach painting number two, which has a painting of a starfish with a close-up view of its scales, and another painting of the scales settled at the bottom of the tank. And it says, Fact number two. The starfish shed phosphorus scales that drift down to the floor of the island tank. Previous searches have found that the island fish do feed upon these scales, 
the fish are also able to be phosphorus at certain moon times. Whether this is due to the starfish scale consumption is not known at this time and subject for further research. You walk down three more steps and you reach painting number three which has a painting of clusters of starfish in low lighting. Fact number three is written underneath it. The starfish native to this island have a dawn chorus similar to the birds that starts at 4 a.m. and goes until around 6 a.m. The starfish sound like a combination of crickets and larks with different pitches. When played for humans, it results in a state of deep relaxation and even deeper sleep. Subjects report having dreams that provide answers for questions that they have been seeking. They can be heard with the special instrument created to hear the starfish that was made by lightkeeper and watcher Dorothy Marvels. You are enthralled by these paintings and descriptions and hope that one day you will hear the infamous Falkhorn Station Island singing starfish. You reach the last step and arrive at a small round room with blue carpet and a single lamp above a door with a porthole window in it. Peering through the porthole, you see a dimly lit room with a long couch in the middle of it. A sign at the bottom of the staircase reads, Please, only speak in a whisper. You push open the door, close it behind you, and enter the room. You take a moment to adjust your eyes to the low light and gain your bearings. You are in a round room that has glass windows in a circle that wrap all around the staircase door that you have just come through. You are below the water in the glass dish that the Falkhorn Station Island sits within. This is an observation room that lets you see into the tank. There does seem to be a hallowed feeling to this space. And should there be someone with you, you certainly feel the need to whisper as one would do in other sacred spots. You walk slowly around the room, looking through the glass windows. On several of the panes of glass, you see the infamous starfish stuck to the side of the glass, giving you the perfect view. You can see their thousands of little legs with tiny suction cups holding them to the side of the glass. Some of them seem to be slowly moving. Are they sleepwalking? You wonder if they are dreaming. And if they are, what do they dream about? You wish that you could have starfish dreams. And perhaps you will tonight. You spend some time closely studying these incredible creatures in this dimly lit room under the water. This room seems like the place 
that could transport dreams. The water is a dark blue, with shards of light shining down and dancing around the tank. When you walk up to the window and look down, you can see straight down through the tank to the ocean floor below and the sand dunes and ocean mountains floating by as you go. You feel incredibly relaxed here and calm. You spend a long time looking at the fish swimming by, the different corals floating under you, an entire world with its own culture and rhythm and listening to the sounds from this observation room. Sitting on a small table next to the window is a machine that you have never seen before. It is square, with lots of dials and levers on it, and two large reels of tape on top of it. Coming out of it is a large funnel that sits against the glass. In front of the machine is a label that says, Sacred. You are so in love with this room. You are beginning to feel tired. In the center of this room is a large couch. You get settled onto it and feel a deep wave of relaxation just wash over you. You can still feel the warmth from the sun on your skin. The couch wraps around you and you feel completely at ease. You feel safe, relaxed, and totally peaceful. The ripples of blue light wave around the room and over your body. You see that there is a blanket next to you. So you lay down, facing the window, and pull the blanket over you. A large fish starts to slowly make its way past the window. It has one curious peering eye looking into the room, and it slowly moves along. And then another big blue fish comes along. And then another glides past. You feel incredibly relaxed. The scales of these fish are a rainbow of shimmering colors. As they drift by, you just gaze at the blur of shimmer. You lay there and think about the people who designed and built this room. You think about the conversations that they had when they were designing it. You wonder about the people that created this space and how they felt when they had finished it. You wonder about the way that they built it inside this glass dish floating on the ocean. You ponder at all the hours people had spent here watching the island starfish and painting their portraits. You decide that you will sleep here tonight and hope to wake to hear the starfish dawn chorus taking place. What a wonderful way that would be to wake up. You are so comfortable here on this couch. The lights are dim 
and you feel safe here. Your muscles are completely relaxed. All tension in your body is melting into the soft cushions beneath you. You feel utter peace here. Just rest here for a while. You are utterly content here, peaceful. You close your eyes and feel the edges of the sounds of this room. You hold the memory of the fish gliding by in your mind and you wonder if they can see you and what they think about. This is the perfect moment. You drift off to sleep, wondering what the sound of starfish singing will be like.